Hi guys, this is Mrs. Stevenson, and with the governor's new mandate that school buildings are closed, we're going to be focusing on music and art lessons. So on Mondays, we will do a kindergarten, first, second grade music lesson. On Tuesdays, we will do a third, fourth, and fifth grade music lesson. Wednesdays will be a kindergarten, first, second grade art lesson. Thursdays will be a third, fourth, fifth grade art lesson. Fridays, who knows what we're going to learn about. Just probably anything that I find interesting that I want to share with you guys. It could be anything. It could be a reading, math, science, social studies. Who knows what we're going to learn about. Let's just have some fun learning. Now, today our K through second grade music lesson is going to be from a different country. Now, before they shut the schools down, my music classes, kindergarten, first and second, were exploring different music of the world. We went to Japan, we went to Mexico, and so now we're going to a new continent and a new country. So for the next about three to four weeks, we are going to be going to different countries in the new continent. All right, so let's listen and see if we can figure out where we are. We will listen for about four or five minutes. Oh, I love it. And it's changing to something new. Same country. Ooh, this is festive. of Greece. That was very traditional Greek instrumental music you just heard. Now in your free time you can go on YouTube and you can search out very popular songs like um, Let It Go in Greek and you can hear these songs that you know being sung in a different language. It's going to be really really cool. And I can't play them here because of copyright reasons but please feel free to go and search these up. I'll, I can post some links 
um, in the comment section or on our page and you can look them up. It's a lot of grace because it's good. Um, at the end, we are going to end with dancing. But first, let's learn some Greek language. Now, the Greek is the ancient cradle of the world. It's where so many ancient ruins and where people say the start of civilization began. Um, so if we want to say good morning, we would say Kalimera. So Kalimera to all of you. You want to give that a try? Kalimera. Excellent. Let's learn some colors, okay? I will sing first and you can repeat it. So, we're going to do it with a song that most of us should be familiar with. Red, ooh, excuse me. <coughs> red is Kokino, red is Kokino. Blue is Blair, blue is Blair. Yellow is Kitrino, yellow is Kitrino. Green Prasino, green Prasino. Let's do it again. Let's see if you can sing with me. Red is Kokino, red is Kokino. Blue is Blair, blue is Blair. Yellow is Kitrino, yellow is Kitrino. Green Prasino, green Prasino. Great. Okay, let's see if we can count to 10. So, zero is Meden. So, Meden. Ina. Dijo. Tria. Tessera. Pende. Exi. Eta. Ochto. Inya. And Deca. So let's do it again. I'll say it first and then you'll say it. And I do have my little Greek language guide here with me so that I get this correct, at least mostly correct. I, please forgive me any native Greek speakers. I am not a native Greek speaker. All right, so. Miden. In. Diho. Tria. Tessera. Pende. Exi, Ifta, Achto, Inya, Deca. Great. All right. Let's end our little Greek lesson here. Oh, and if you even search online about Greek architecture and Greek mythology, you could just lose yourself for hours learning about all these interesting facts. So I challenge you to that. Go on Wikipedia or Encyclopedia Britannica and search up Greek mythology, Greek buildings, see what you can learn about. All right, let's see if we can dance it out a little bit. All right, let's see. We will not do the entire thing because Mrs. Stevenson is not a dancer. I'm gonna dance with my dragon again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see if we can find a good one that all of you can do with us. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Are you ready? Okay. So, <laughs>
is the basics of a Greek Zorba dance. And I hope you enjoy dancing with me. I love dancing. I'm not very good at it, but I love it. And hope you guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow for our third through fifth grade music lesson. Bye!